Hello, Krista and Stephanie here for Module 11. In our previous modules, when we've had to do video presentations, Stephanie and I have each done a bit of video, and then we've kind of stitched it together. But for this module, since this presentation is going to be much shorter than the previous ones, we decided it would be best if one of us just went ahead and did it. Um, it just made more sense this way. So for Module 11, Independent Social Platforms and Exploration, our community is The Web Never Forgets. We have a blog, a Facebook, and a Twitter site so far. And just to kind of recap our POS strategy, um, the majority of the people within our community are parents and educators, and uh, they speak mostly on Facebook and Twitter, and it's often uh, has to do with current events and with the objective to help our children grow up safely online um, and be responsible uh, digital citizen to have responsible digital citizenship. Our three objectives are listening, talking, and energizing. And our strategy is this: um, we basically want a better connected community. Um, so we're going to accomplish that by uh, talking more. Um, we want improved awareness of services and resources. So we want to energize, and we also want to improve information about current concerns within our community by listening. This is a screenshot of our blog, The Web Never Forgets. Um, this is a screenshot of our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash The Web Never Forgets. And we finally have uh, enough, I think we have close to 40 likes on Facebook now, so we can finally track analytics. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and then this is a screenshot of our Twitter page. Um, Twitter, we're not quite there yet. We have, uh, what is that, 15 followers. Uh, we're currently following 47 people, though. And we've made uh, almost a couple dozen tweets so far. So we are getting there with Twitter. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Um, the two hashtags that we're using the most for our community is cyberbullying and digital citizenship. And this is our rationale for the other platform that we chose. Now, with what we're doing and trying to protect our youth on, uh, in being online and the dangers of being online, things of that nature, um, initially we were kind of thinking, you know, LinkedIn might be a good platform to use because a lot of the educators connect on LinkedIn and um, we just found a ton of people there. But then we were thinking about all the all the videos that we had seen and how videos are are very impactful. They have just a huge impact with with what we're striving to do in our community. And there's been um, all of these, you know, PSAs that have been made, these video PSAs that have been made against cyberbullying and bullying in general and privacy and things of that nature. So so we realized that uh, we, we definitely wanted to go a video route, and then we were trying to choose, okay, do we want YouTube or do we want Vimeo? Well, when we were thinking about those two, uh, we started looking at the other platforms that were outlined on the Blackboard, and Storify caught our attention, because neither one of us had ever heard of Storify, so, you know, we, we did a little research and checked it out, and we decided this is what we want. I mean... We know YouTube already. Vimeo is very similar to YouTube. It just has a lot of other restrictions that YouTube does not. Um, but yeah, so our rationale basically is, you know, videos are very important to this community. Um, they're easy to find, easy to share, and there's compelling stories um, that are implemented in a lot of videos online um, used to prevent bullying. And like I said before, we know YouTube, Storify, however, is completely new to us. Um, Storify grabs and combines information across all aspects of social networking sites. And um, users can post and include videos, links, posts, tweets, and pictures in order to create a unique visual story, which at the end of the, at the, end of the day, that's exactly what we want. Um, here is a screenshot of our Storify account. 
And um, in fact, I'm just going to take you there right now and show you what Storify is. If you're not familiar with Storify, um, let's see if I can make the screen any bigger. Okay, there it is. All right, so if you're not familiar with Storify, this is Storify. Um, we are the web never forgets. You can sign in with your Twitter account or your Facebook account. And in fact, I do have both of those accounts linked to Storify as well. Now, this is my profile page, or our profile page, I should say. And Stephanie and I have created three stories so far. Um, right here, subscribe to our blog, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. And then um, here's another story about teaching our children the importance of responsible digital citizenship. And another one titled Cyberbullying Stops with You. Join the conversation. And just to kind of check these stories out, um, these are the stories, this is, this is that story that we created. Um, and you can insert, you know, graphs and pictures. You can share with all of these other social networks as well. Um, but you can, so I've got a title. I've got a little, a little header here as well about what this post is all about. And this is our about page, and then it has our disclaimer down here. Now, if, uh, let me, let me show you this story real quick. Because this was one um, that I really liked a lot. Um, these are different tweets, or I mean, not tweets, but um, links that I was able to grab and include. Um, this is a video called Jigsaw. It is very compelling. It will give you chills. I highly recommend checking it out and sharing it with anybody that has children. Um, here's another link that I was able to grab and include on that one. And then um, this one right here, subscribe to our blog, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. Um, I've, inserted, I've inserted the link to our blog here. I put a picture right there of uh, cyberbullying. And then I put a link to us to our Twitter page there, another picture there that's relevant, and then a link uh, to our Facebook page, or I'm sorry, to our blog rather right there um, and then these are links from our blog of stuff that we've already blogged about so there you have it as far as like that's what stories can look like however let's say we want to create a story we go up here to create story and it opens up this page where we can put a headline right here um, we can put a description right here and then the meat of our story right here but here's the neat thing. Let me make the screen a little bit bigger for this purpose. There we go. Okay. So here's the neat thing. We can enter a headline. Hello. And then, you know, the description here. But this is the part where you can basically drag and drop. What Storify does is you can, you can focus on quotes. If you just want to find quotes in any of these social network platforms up here, you can just click on images, videos, links, or all, which is probably going to be your best bet. Um, let's say I want to look up cyberbullying. Punch that in, and this searches across, it basically searches across all of these platforms and brings up all of these different things on cyberbullying. And if I wanted to put a story together, um, let's say that I wanted um, Cyberbullying Prevention 101, what, is, what it is and what to do. Let's say I was interested in that one. So I could drag that link over here, and then um, I could add some text right here, like, check out this link, um, and then I could come back over here, and let's say I wanted to add a picture that had to do with cyberbullying. We just keep cyberbullying there and then we go to Giphy. Oh, that one didn't do it. Flickr. 
Let's see if anything comes up under Flickr. Flickr, there we go. Um, so we have some, some pictures here. Um, let's put this one in there. And then see, now I'm starting to build my story. I've got some text. I have a quick read, a link to a quick read here. I've got a picture right here. Um, I want to put some more text right here. Um, stop bullying today. Check out the video below for examples of how to do this. And then I want to go to YouTube. And let's see. Cyberbullying PSA. Perfect. So let's grab this and drag it over here. Now I have a video right here that you can play. Hey everybody, it's Matt Lanter from 90210. <laughs> Bullying is Wasn't never right. That. Okay, and it's not cool. Using the internet to bully someone is called cyberbullying. And sadly, this is becoming a huge problem in today's schools. The Very true. So, anyways, I mean, this is how we create stories. And then, um, I can enter a description right here. Um, how to teach our youth about responsible digital citizenship. And then I go up here and I publish. Publish story. So there is our story that we just published. And it's a very visual story. It works very well. There's lots of, you know, things to look at. Um, unfortunately, this one's in Spanish. I didn't realize that. But now you get the idea. And if I want to go back to my profile, I'll show you a couple things here very quickly. Um, these are some things um, that I that kind of tie in with every time you create a story, it saves those links and pictures down below. So let's say that I wanted to um, take this video, for example. I have the option to Add, this, add it to one of my stories that I'm creating or to a collection. So I click that and then I come up here, do I want to add it to one of these stories or do I want it in my private collection? Let's keep it in my private collection for right now. And then I can say best video ever on dangers of using the internet with our youth or something of that nature. I also have the option to share it on Twitter or Facebook and then I can storyfy it. And then this was successfully added to my private collection. So this is why we chose Storify and for those of you that have never used Storify before, hopefully that gave you an idea of what it is and what it's all about. And thank you very much for watching this presentation of our new social network platform.